All right, boys and girls, we are here today to start a white paper uh, pencil first. We're going to work on our fish painting. We're going to draw the fish first. And in this video, we will draw the fish and we will add the oil pastels. In the next one, we'll talk about the watercolor effect and what I did to make it look kind of oceany and awesome. So first things first, we've got our pencil. And I want two fish, and I have one bigger and one a little bit smaller. And for this, I'm going to do two dots with my pencil, sort of in a line, like they're on the same row, but two dots. And this is going to look kind of like a football. This is going to curve up and down, just up and over. It helps me to see the other dot. That way I know where I'm aiming for. Like that. Pick which side is his tail and make a triangle out of it. Real simple. And then we have a circle. I like to make my fish look a little bit 3D and also a little bit silly by having the eyes, one circle and then one sort of stuck on. And then a curve for the head. All right. And on the big fish, we can also do a curve at the back. We're going to put patterns in those. And one more small one, same steps, two dots, smaller one, two dots, up and over, kind of like a football. This one will be swimming the other direction, so tail over here. And eyeball, eyeball, and leave that one off. Now, to trace these with oil pastels, I'm going to have the three warm colors on one fish and three cool colors on the other fish. What does that mean? Warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. And cool colors are blue, purple, and green. I'm gonna trace those with orange. I'm gonna add in a pattern of some sort. I could do stripes. I could do zigzags. some red in a second. My three. Uh, my three warm colors, right? Now I didn't color all these all the way in. I want to blend some. So I leave some white. And I have this be pure red and then overlap the red into the orange to give kind of a fading or blending effect. Colors kind of mix with oil pastels. And then in the front, there's a red little fishy face. Like so. All good. And then same sort of idea with the three cool colors. I got some green, blue, and purple. Let's outline this little dude with some blue. Close my eyes. Ink, ink, and green. Okay, this time zigzag. A little pattern of zigzags. Some purple to blend. It's up to you how you color exactly, specifically. As long as you're sticking with cool colors on one fish and warm colors on the other fish. Uh, there we go. Almost forgot my pattern as far as I got there. And then I'm going to blend some blue in with this purple. And then also a couple, not too many, not too many. If it smudges, that's going to be okay. We're going to use, uh, I can actually see this smudge here. A couple of seaweeds. There, I can cover up some of those. Just a couple of straight down, so 
sort of like a little wave coming straight down. Nothing too big, nothing too fancy. That's the drawing part. That's the drawing part. We want to leave room, plenty of space for watercolors next time. Okay? I'll see you guys then. Good job.